everyone, it's Mari. I have a project today for Honeybee Stamps and I'm going to be using the Sweet Way to Goat stamp set and Companion Honey Cuts. This is such a sweet set and I'm also going to be using the Rectangle Trio dies to create a slimline card today. So I'm going to start off by cutting and scoring my paper. I've taken an 8.5 by 11 piece of 110 pound Nina, cut it down to uh, 7 by eight and a half, scored at 3.5, and then I've taken the extra paper and cut it down to three and a quarter by eight and a quarter for the front of my card. And I'm now going to take those rectangle trio dies and I'm going to just space them out evenly on my card front. And I'm going to cut out a little window to uh, create my card front. So I've got that done. I've uh, run that through my die cutting machine and now I'm going to take three different colors of Distress Oxide ink and the amazing Honeybee Stamps blending brushes, and I'm going to blend on some uh, ink onto my cardstock. So I'm going to start off with dried marigold, and I'm just gonna, you know, do a really simple bit of blending here on my waffle flower media mat. Then I'm going to blend on some scattered straw, and then lastly, I'm going to blend on some tumbled glass. I really like these colors together. I think it makes a really pretty blend. And I like how this turns out in the end. So I'm just going to do really simple blending here. I love this waffle flower mat because the paper doesn't slip around. I'm just holding it there in place because it's super a super long piece. And I don't want it to bend or whatnot when I'm uh, working on it here. So you'll just see me finishing up here, blending away and blending those three colors together. And I just love this blend. Like I said, when it's finished, it just looks really nice and soft. And I like how it's going to provide just a subtle bit of color for my card front. Now I'm just going to take um, some water and a watercolor brush and tap on some water just to kind of like oxidize that ink and make it look a little bit more interesting in that way. And I have saved the little square panels that were cut out when I die cut those rectangle trios from my card front. Now I'm going to take a little bit of Perfect Pearls and water it down and with my watercolor brush again I'm just going to tap this onto my pieces of paper just to add a little bit of sparkle and shimmer. Now I do apologize for that little bit of weird sunlight that's getting in onto my frame here. Uh, it's just there's a lot of sun coming in my window here. It is morning where I am here in Saskatchewan. It's a beautiful sunny day. Now I'm going to take all of the stamps from Way to Goat and put them onto my Misty. I'm going to stamp these onto some Nina 80 pound cardstock and I'm going to stamp these with some uh, Copic friendly ink, whatever you have on hand works, uh, whether it's Memento Tuxedo Black or Gina K Amalgam Ink, whatever you have that works. And I am just going to stamp these images out using my mini Misty and create um, nice solid images there to color with my Copic markers. So I'm going to show you the Copic marker coloring on one of the goats and the two uh, different color blends I'm going to use for the flowers. And um, this is this W color here is W2. And I'm just going around and creating a, an outline on my goat. I'm not even going to color in the middle area because I think this goat's mostly going to be like a white color with a little bit of grays on it and I actually did believe it or not google what color goats are because um, I kind of thought I had an idea but I wasn't 100% sure and it turns out like goats can be a lot of different colors so um, that's what I'm going to do just some really simple blending I went in and shaded my goats with a w5 I believe and now I'm just going to do some really simple pretty blues and oranges for the tulip and the little um, other little flowers here to go nicely with the colors that I chose for my Distress Oxide inks. Um, if I didn't mention the second ink that I used was Scattered Straw. I can't remember if I mentioned that or not. So I used Dried Marigold, Tumble Glass and Scattered Straw. And then I believe I'm showing you the caps and colors I'm using for all of my Copic coloring here. If you want to, you can even pause the video so you can check that out because I know I have sped this up a little bit. So just blending those out really simply and nothing too complicated or tricky there. And now I'm just taking the coordinating honey cuts for the way to goat set and I'm going to tape those onto my images with my purple tape. I'm going to get those secured on the, there and run this through my die cutting machine. 
and get that all die cut out so that I can embellish my card. Now I'm also going to be using some Gina K Glitz Glitter Gel. I love this stuff, it's amazing. And I'm going to use my Nouveau spatula here to run this through the Twinkle Stencil. The Twinkle Stencil is one of the stencils from Honeybee Stamps. It's gorgeous, it's little stars, and it adds the sweetest embellishment to your projects. I love this stencil, it's one of my favorites from the shop. And I'm going to just nicely blend on some of that uh, beautiful Glitz Glitter Gel. The color that I'm using of the gel, I believe, is, and I'm just looking, it's the Iridescent. And I mean, you could, depending on what color scheme you're going for, you could blend on any kind of gel that adds that sparkle and shine. Now that's all dry and I'm just taking some foam adhesive and I'm going to apply that to the back of this window portion of my card. And I wanted this to be popped up off of my card base just to give it a little bit of dimension so that when I put my little goats in the windows, they are they can just be like tucked in and have, there's a little bit of space between the uh, window section of my card and the card base. So here you can just see I'm adding the little bit of foam adhesive all the way around those rectangle sections. And now I'm just gonna take the off cuts that I did um, ink blend and I'm going to just stick a different color in a different window on the top and bottom just because I felt like that was really, um, really sort of like brought out those uh, different colors. And the center section will just be that um, scattered straw. And now I'm going to go ahead and take my little die cut pieces, pop them up on some foam and put them in the little windows. I think this is so adorable. These goats are the sweetest. They are so cute. And I just love how they all, <laughs> they just look like, uh, they're they're just living their life having fun and I love the sentiment that I chose for this uh, for this card as well now I'm going to take the little other little die cut pieces to embellish the little window areas so the little floral pieces I'm just going to scatter around the card trying to pop them in different little areas so that your eye just sort of like pops down the card bounces down the card from the top to the bottom and I'm just gonna pop those up with some foam adhesive again, just some little uh, foam adhesive squares just to give them a little bit of dimension. Now that one little flower in this middle section I am going to glue down flat and then the one on top I'm going to pop up on some foam. So I'm just using my Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive here. I love that adhesive because it's just got that really nice fine little tip and it has literally never clogged on me. I love that glue. It works really, really well. And I'm going to, again there, you'll just see, I am going to use another little foam dot on the bottom tulip piece there, that floral piece. I just want to move that in a little bit so that it's, uh, you know, uh, balanced out a little bit with where the other floral pieces are on the card. And that is going to finish off those little die cut embellishments. Now I'm also going to go ahead and stamp out my sentiment from Way to Goat. And I'm going to stamp out the sentiment, You Goat This. And this particular sentiment also has a coordinating die. So I'm just going to go ahead and stamp that out onto some 80 pound Nina in my Mini Misty using some VersaFine Onyx Black ink. This is just a beautiful, nice, crisp black ink. I love how it stamps out. And I'm going to just swing the door of my Misty over, get that stamped down, and then I'll just take the coordinating die uh, put that on there with a little bit of my purple tape and run that through my die cutting machine and voila I will have my sentiment for my card front. I'm just making sure that this is lined up properly and I'm going to just take my purple tape stick that on there and go ahead and run that through my Gemini Junior. Now I'm going to take some foam adhesive. I wasn't sure if I was going to glue this flat or not so I made sure that I had my liquid adhesive there just in case but I decided that I like the look of the sentiment popped up on some foam adhesive as well. It just gives it a little bit of dimension and lifts it up off of that little goat there and so I'm going to put the word goat down first just to make sure that I have it centered and then put the you and this on either side of it to complete the sentiment on the front of my card. So I really love the sparkle and shimmer uh, to this card front with the perfect pearls and the glitz glitter gel through the stencil. Um, and I didn't really feel like I needed any other embellishing. There's lots of other little stamps and die cuts uh, or dies to go with way to go. You could really go to town with some other embellishing, the little grass pieces or some of the other little critters. 
but with the um, detail that I already had, I thought it was okay. And so I went ahead and stamped dot dot, I, I stamped the word kid on the inside and then just added a dot dot dot. So the sentiment, you goat this, and then on the inside, kid. And I did stamp and die cut the can and a little bit of grass just to add a little bit of detail to the inside of my card. I really like how this looks and I like how it finishes this off. Please make sure you check the description box below for a link to all of the different products that I used today from the Honeybee Shop. I love how this slimline card turned out. I'm a huge fan of slimline cards. I think they're really cute. I think it's a, a really cool alternative uh, to uh, the size of cards that you can send out and this does fit in a number 10 size envelope just perfectly so have an amazing day everybody I hope you're staying safe I hope you're well and I hope you liked my project today if you did please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and I'll see you again another time bye bye